Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Commodities Update video. Today, we'll be looking at technical analysis on natural gas, UNG, the US dollar, oil, gold, and silver. So looking at their levels and potentially look for some patterns and see what is the most likely scenario that price will be heading into later next week. All right, let's take a look at NG first, natural gas futures, and we'll be looking at the BADJ adjusted where you click on this um, on the bottom right corner so there won't be any contract gaps on our charts. All right, so this is the four hour chart and so far is looking good because bulls made a higher low. What the higher low means is that this low is higher than the previous low. That's a good sign and we made a higher high. So meaning this high, the move is higher than the prior high. So that means we have a four hour uptrend. So this initial move, right? Pull back, pivot being set, and then boom, bounce. That's the four uptrend. So that's a good sign it's because natural gas characteristic is a trending um, name, meaning it likes to trend whichever way it is currently trending. Usually more on the bear side, of course. Um, so now the question is, um, can it break this kind of like a rising wedge now? Oh, even though we only have two touches on the bottom, but um, we just break, for example, here break above like that, then this pattern is gone on um, Tuesday because Monday is on trading. So looking at that pretty much this resistance, you can see a little bit of resistance here um, that it couldn't get over on Friday, but it's a good sign that we also made another higher low. So meaning this low is now set as a pivot. You can see these pivots are always higher than the prior pivot. That's a good sign. And that's what we want to see. So when this candle breaks above the, the prior one, on the prior one's high, I want to see this break out of this rising wedge and potentially um, head higher into at least, you know, 2.2, right? Which is the um, prior supports where it bounced many times. Now it's going to act as resistance because price is under it. And for the bears, you need to break at least this pivot for, for uh, more potential downside. This um, Friday's pivot low pretty much Friday's low. And it does make sense also in the bigger picture, right? We zoom out to the daily time frame. Uh, you can see that where we bounce off of was this black line where it goes all the way back here, right? Bounce, 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 bounce just there on August and then bounced again just this week, right, right there. And so Technically, there's really not that much downside, but I mean, this could, you know, break through. It's not like this is the ultimate support. So far, it is. It's been holding for a year, for um, maybe more than a year, but anything can happen, right? So, but that being said, you know, looking at this charts, you can say the risk reward is slightly favoring the bull side, but we have not seen bulls anywhere yet, right? Like looking at it, you can say, okay, maybe we got come back up to closer to this um, 2.5 range and break that, maybe we'll come up to this uh, close to this $2.8 range, right? Um, just like this move, right? Where we get all the way back up to this resistance where it's the longer term resistance. But so you can say technically, right? We have more room upside to the downside, but um, bulls haven't really showed up at all. So what I wanna see is after we break this rising wedge, um, can we confirm a daily uptrend, right? So we go to the daily time frame, which is what we're on right now, and do that same thing. Form a higher low, this pivot being set, and a higher high on the daily time frame. From there, maybe we'll get more trending. Um, as you can see, every, natural gas, very trending name, right? Ever since it covers downtrend, and it just goes all the way. And then same thing over here, mini uptrend right here, confirm, and it just goes all the way. So see if bulls show up next week so far holding support and they just need to play some offense all right ung similar idea right bigger picture bounce 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 um the only difference between net gas and ung sometimes just they 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 they're tracking different months contracts so that's why the price action is a little bit different but overall if natural gas is you know trending up so will ung 
right, so let's see if they can uh, hold that level as well. Um, let's see, four hour charts, same thing, right? We got that for uptrend confirm and then making a new high as well. Pivots also higher, low, higher, low, higher, low. All the pivots are higher. So let's see if we can break above. And so if that if you, and that gas breaks out of this rising wedge, I'm looking at closer to this um, EMA 12, which is at 2.2 .2 right now. So if we can get to 2.2 .2 and break above that, UNG will have a solid chance to potentially come up to closer to this $14 range. And so we'll see about that. All right, if you guys want to learn more about technical analysis and as well as um, how to better your trading and not pay tuition fees to the market, go to my Patreon link on YouTube and go to that 15 minute free call. Start from there. All right, let's take a look at the US dollar. So the US dollar is currently um, at a big bounce here. So that's, this is what bulls want to see after this um, bounce off of this psychological support, which does make sense, right? This 100 level is pretty, pretty key here. So now they get a big enough bounce where it broke above the prior pivot here. Although that pivot, it's kind of it's very, you can count this as one move or you can count this, there's a tiny pivot here, but it's so unclear, I'm just gonna count this as one move. So now what bulls wanna see is that because they have a big enough bounce now, there's space that they can confirm uptrends. Um, so if they can, can do that, then we may potentially get a bigger bounce closer to this 102 level for the US dollar. So we'll see if they can pull that off on the next pullback. So what they bulls wanna see is one more day of green. And then when they pulls back, this EMA starts curling up and then it acts as support on the way back test and then bounce and form that daily uptrend. That'll be the best case scenario for bulls. Um, the bears might just come back down that EMA and this will be a fake out um, from breaking above the EMAs, kind of like this one right here, where they kind of came up and then just kidding. And then we'll come back, maybe chop around, consolidate sideways around here. That'll be the best case for bears if they can consolidate sideways range here over time, cool things off, and then um, from potentially next leg lower. All right, let's take a look at oil. Oil just still tightening up. Um, I don't know, it just can't get more tighter than this, pretty much. It's been uh, been looking at this tiny range, big up, big down, big up, gets tighter and tighter, and tighter, tighter, and tighter. And it's pretty much looking like it's about to break. Um, so we're getting really close to pretty much here. So if it breaks this low, then it will likely be a bear break. Um, if we can come back, break potentially this high, I would say it's more of a bull break. So let's see um, where you like where it wants to tighten up. Very choppy now. Uh, I wouldn't be playing as much, right? Look at how choppy it is. It would pretty much just chopping right in here because it's getting really tight. So pretty much just bulls and bears battling each other, deciding which way they want to really go in the longer term. And we'll see about that once they break that tiny range. Um, then we'll know. So for now. There's pretty much really indecision here. So if we don't have clarity. Let's not play the one we have. don't have any clarity on. Just find another name to play with that there's more clarity. All right, so gold, same thing. Not much change, actually. Resistance, resistance, resistance. Now acting as support, which is perfect. Exactly what bulls want to see. Um, as well as it's trending on the EMAs. Bounce, 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 bounce. Coinciding with the support of this one, bounce as well. So very first step for bears, you know, at least break through here, right? And we'll, then we can start talking about potentially closer to this two, four, three, seven range. But if they can't even break this, there's not really anything that's gonna happen on the bear side. Um, if bulls can just go sideways, you know, even if it breaks and they just kind of chop sideways, that's perfect for them. And then they can consolidate a little bit for the next leg up. For now, bulls are still in absolute full control. No signs of red flag yet. Um, first red flag we'll see, right? It's breaking below this, this low where it's been consulting for a while. That'll be the first red flag. But for now, we haven't seen that yet. And most likely scenario, probably a continuation if we can hold this level support. 
and silver. Still slightly weaker. Um, so I wouldn't be playing silver as well because it's much weaker. Uh, you can see gold. gold has been like kind of trading like this, going up, sideways, consolidating. And while silver is dropping, right? Uh, you can see this is slanting upwards where it's price is still a little bit slightly higher. Um, but now silver is just, as I've been talking about silver, relative weakness when it drops and you don't want to play a relative weaker stock, but this is still the same channel I'll be looking at. Um, and it's currently broke up below this pivot. So that pivot means that daily uptrend is not there anymore. We don't have a downtrend yet, but daily uptrend is gone. So it's currently in a neutral trend and we'll see if gold continues to go sideways. We want to see silver at least hold its level as well. We don't want to like, you know, so we're kind of like just bleeds out while gold goes sideways. That's the last thing we want to see. So we want to see silver go sideways if gold can continue to go sideways. And otherwise, silver um, can drag gold down over time as well sometimes. Best case scenario is silver leading and gold is going up with silver at the same time. We don't have that at this moment, so let's just be a little cautious. All right, that's got for you guys. And feel free to comment below if you have any questions. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe if you guys made it this far or learn anything. And I will see you guys tomorrow for stock market update and where I do the QQQ as well as the seven mega cap tech um, tech stocks to give us a better understanding of the direction of the market. So I'll do that tomorrow, and I will see you guys. And have a great long weekend. There's no trading on Monday. 